Right, let's talk about the idea behind how we calculate or fake the refraction. Uh, in the default settings, if we just use our texture right away on the model, which is uh, what we're doing here now, okay, we're just gonna get this image, okay, and it's gonna be flat on the surface of the model. Let me stop the previewing here. Now you can see, well, it's just gonna be something uh, sitting on top of the surface. Okay, but back to our diagram here. Let's say we are seeing stuff from here, right? This again, this is our camera, and we're seeing something up here. Instead of reading the texture here, we should be reading uh, the texture that is actually a little bit shifted. So here, we're supposed to be reading is whatever data that should be from in reality, right? Should be first of all on the inside, and it should be something further away. Uh, so if I draw a line here, I should be reading the texture over here instead of here, and that's gonna give me the refracted illusion. Okay, uh, that that just means that on the U and V direction, I need to know how far away this vector sh uh, shifts, and that's gonna be uh, how far away we need to also shift our UV. Okay, all right. So to do that, we need to know okay, what's the U and V direction? Um, and because this vector is calculated already, but it's it's in word space, we have to get the u and v direction of the uh, this particular uh, pixel here. Like, what's the u and v direction of that pixel? Um, and that's uh, actually not that difficult because we know that in tangent space, uh, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, x means u direction, y means v direction, and z means normal direction. Right, so if I want to get the U direction, I just need to get uh, the, the, the R channel, right? So what we have to do is holding down uh, three and click to create um, uh, to create a vector here. And in the tangent space, U means one on the R. So in tangent space, this is basically the, the U direction. And I want to convert it into word space. Now that's going to be exactly what we were doing earlier with this uh, normal map. So Control C, Control V to copy that. Okay, connect that to here. Now this one is going to be basically uh, the tangent space, uh, uh, the, the word space U direction. Or, uh, for example, this plane. Okay, it's U direction in word space. Okay, so or in other words, if there's a point here. And I wanted to move this point along the U direction of that point, uh, or if that's easier to do in Maya, I don't have Maya open. <laughs> but anyway, if I want to move that point, some point on the face on the U direction in word space, I have to move it on Y direction. As you can see here, that's why it's grid. Uh, that makes sense because from the front view, we know that this is U, right? This is V. So we want to move down U direction in, in tangent space, that means move on the y direction in word space. So basically we're transferring those two spaces. If I go to the uh, cube, you can see those are red. Okay, and that means for the UV, uh, this is the V direction. Uh, actually, uh, red means uh, U, right? So we're, we're seeing red uh, because then the U direction for this face should be this way. For this face, it's gonna be this way. And for those faces, they are negative directions, okay? Um, you can also see similar things happening in the uh, sphere. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so basically this is gonna be the direction you have to work to move in the word space if you wanted to shift the texture or th that particular point in UV space on the U direction. So I'm gonna stop previewing here now. <laughs> okay. I, hope that's, I hope that's not too confusing. Um, but now uh, we have this, okay. And then uh, this, this vector, back here to the tail diagram, if I were to say, okay, uh, if in the UV space, or if this guy's UV is uh, here, this is the U direction. Let me draw out some axis here. So this is U direction. Okay, let's just talk about U direction here. So if this is the U direction, uh, then I kind of want to know how much this guy is actually moving on the U direction. Uh, but in reality, that U direction uh, has to be like not only calculating calculating that. I kind of wanted to calculate 
uh, that direction based on the normal. Okay, so if I were to so this, if this is u direction, right? Uh, let me draw that out. Okay, what I want to calculate is how much it's moving in the worst space. How much is it moving on the tangent? Because that's where I wanted to shift my stuff, right? So I, I want to know is I want to know this guy's projection on the tangent. Or right, if this is the tangent direction, uh, use the green green color here. Okay, so I want to know how much the u will have to move on the tangent direction. So that means I have to uh, separate this particular vector, the u direction vector, to the tangent direction and the normal direction. Okay, uh, that's actually not that hard to do because we know the unit vector of the normal. Okay, so what I have to do here is back here to to uh, Unreal. Okay, what I want to do is uh, I want to normalize it, of course. Although I don't think that's super, uh, super needed. We'll normalize that, and then we do dot product with this guy. So that's the normal direction. We dot that with the uh, u direction. They're all in word space. So basically, we're calculating the dot product in our diagram of the red red arrow, which is the u direction. That can be any direction. I'm not sure what that is, but it's just assuming that's the direction. And then we're calculating the dot product between this guy and this guy. And again, they're all unit vector. And then I have to, then uh, if you are familiar with the trigonometry, you know that that's going to be the projection of this vector, the shadow of this vector projected on the normal direction. And if we multiply that by the normal vector, we got this you know, how much it's moving on the normal direction, okay? So what we have to do is multiply the normal vector to the dot product. Uh, so here, uh, to our real, I'm gonna do that. Um, so in multiplication, we're multiplying this guy over here, okay? All right, and then afterwards, we're gonna use our normalized uh, U direction to subtract. To, to subtract this guy. Okay, so that means we're subtracting this guy. Subtract, let's, let me draw this, uh, this way so we can see the colors. Um, so what, what I'm trying to do is I'm subtracting, let me use yellow here. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to subtract the yellow out of the red. We're getting the green, okay? And then, so that's gonna be the green. And when, what I need to do afterwards is I want to normalize that green so that I can calculate uh, how much, uh, I'm, I'm just basically gonna calculate the unit vector of the the u directions uh, separation from the normal, and I'm trying to calculate how much the u direction in worst space is on the tangent direction, right? How much is moving on the tangent direction? Uh, so here, um, after the subtraction, I, I'm going to do a normalize. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I need to know how much our refracted ray is projected on the normal on, on this direction. Okay. Now that's not gonna be that hard to do. I'm gonna do a normalize here also. Um, oh, you know what I don't even have to normalize because the dot product if this is unit vector. So if I do dot product without normalizing the other one, I'm getting the other one's contribution on that particular direction. Okay. So this dot product we're getting now is gonna be uh, here. This guy's this guy's shadow on this direction. Okay, now that's gonna be a huge shadow actually. Um, but yeah, if I keep extending those lines, it's gonna be this lens. Okay. Um, right. Now that's actually how much I kind of wanted to refract my texture. So that's how much I want to move 
my texture on the U direction more or less. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna be that much, but something like that. Okay, uh, so again, that's kind of like a mock approximation more or less. So yeah, let me try to do that. Um, here to back to our Unreal graph, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a make float uh, too. And X will be the U direction. Okay. And Y is how much I want to shift my stuff on the V direction. To get the redirection, we actually have to calculate this. Um, go back here to the diagram here. We want to calculate the one that is perpendicular, right? We know this guy, and we know this guy, right? So what we need to do is we need to actually do a. Uh, it's actually safer here to use this one. Uh, so we need to do a cross product between the green one and the blue one. And that's going to give us a vector that is perpendicular of, uh, of those two okay? um, in 3D, 3D dimension. So um, that's what the cross product is. Uh, don't ask me why, because <laughs> um, it requires some depth of understanding of um, a linear algebra. But just believe me with that. That's what it is. So we're going to do use this normalized one. We're going to do cross product. Uh, of the this guy with uh, our normal direction. Okay. I know I kind of wanted to do a normalize just to be safe for this guy because that's a, a texture I baked. Not sure if this this is normalized or not. So control and drag this guy over here to normalize. Okay, and then we connect that. Yeah, that should be a bit more safer. All right, so we have the normalized value here, and that goes to uh, the cross product. Okay, and that's going to be actually, again, dot with our multiplied result, this one, which is going to be our um, refracted ray. Okay, we're dotting that. Okay, and that's going to be how much it's projected on the v direction, and that's going to be the v offset I want to get. And this, those are just flow numbers. The dot product gives you just one scalar value of that. Let's take a look at that. Take a look at this guy. Okay, I'll actually start previewing previewing it. Okay, okay. So the color here is going to be meaning that how much things are supposed to be moved on the UV space. Uh, so that when you see it, it looks like it's refracted. Okay, or in other words, adding that offset on the X, you can see it's just red and green because that's basically the U and V, right? So red means how much we wanted to offset our UV on the U direction, and green means how much we want to offset on the V direction. Okay, that's how much we want to offset, so that when we look at that point, it feels like we're looking at the texture here instead of here okay um all right so with that being said all i have to do is add this guy on top of a normal uv coordinate uh, so um, or texture coordinate i think that's how they call it okay so that's a normal texture coordinate which reads from zero to one zero to one on both u and v direction and then we have this offset we want to add so all we have to do is do a add here to add that extra offset. Okay, so we're offsetting it. And let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so that goes to the UV. Okay, and then I can stop previewing that. Okay. And you can see we're getting something a little bit too crazy. Okay, uh, but that's something that we have for now. And let's move on to the next video we can talk about uh, a way to actually make it not that strong and there's actually a directional problem we're having to uh, actually flip one of the axes. Anyway, so let's move on to that in the next video.